Hey guys, Autumn here today to do my part one or week one of August wrap up. Um, I've read um, seven books in the last week. Um, I've read a total of eight books in August, but the first one I talked about in my last wrap up, so I'm not going to talk about that one. Um, so um, I have. Most of them in physical copy. Two of them I don't, um, and one I am I pre-ordered a signed copy, and I just haven't received that yet. So the first one I'm going to talk about is "Reminding Avery" by Kaylee Ryan. This came out on the eighth of August. Um, I gave it five out of five stars. Really enjoyed it. It is a second chance romance. Um, that follows Dylan and Avery. This book starts out as um, YA because both Avery and Dylan are high school. In high school, they're seniors in high school. Um, Dylan is a quarterback of the high school football team and Avery is the um, coach's younger sister. Um, and so you get some of that, um, and Dylan knows he's not going to college, um, so he is trying to enjoy his senior year as the last um, year he's ever going to play football, he's ever going to um, see these people, and he started the book as saying he wants no distractions, no distractions whatsoever so he could enjoy the his last year. Um, this book also has, um, like, another couple, um, and that's Avery's best friend, Harley, I think, is that, let me, Har Harley, and, um, uh, and then Dylan's best friend, Brad, right? Yes, Brad. Um, so you get their story, too, inside Dylan and Avery's story. Um, I really enjoyed it. Five out of five years. Um, stars. Um, and then the second chance part is that hey, um, Avery goes away from college and then she comes back four years later. Um, and Dylan's still in the town and he has to remind, which is why it's called reminding Avery um, how she fell in love with him um, and it's very good I really enjoyed it and the next one this is the one I ordered a physical copy of and just haven't received it yet and that is Broken Hearts by Macaulay Smolzer this is book five in the light in the dark series and is also the final book in the series this is the second book of Jace and Nova's book. Um, I gave it five out of five stars. This also came out. Um, it was supposed to come out on the fourth, but it came out a little early on the third. Um, so yes, I gave it five out of five stars. Don't really want to tell you too much about this because I don't want to spoil it because it is the second book. But there are some um, heart breaking scenes in this novel. I cried. Um, I usually cry in her books. Um, so, yes, but look at the cover. I just love the cover so much. But anyways, those are the two new releases I've read this month that came out this month. The next one I'm going to talk about is my author for the month which is Brittany C. Cherry. So I read The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry. This is book one in the Element series. I'm not going to tell you too much about this because I feel like it's better going into the story blind, not knowing too much. But this is um, follows Elizabeth and Tristan. Also, this is a second chance romance. Um, and I gave it five out of five stars. That's pretty much all I want to tell you. Because, as I said, it's better going not knowing. Um, this does have feels. Um, and I cried a little bit. I didn't cry 
like crazy amount, but um, I can see where people would cry some more. But highly recommend this series. It's a new adult book. Really enjoyed it. Then I read Checkmate. This is Reckless by Kennedy Fox. This is book one in the Friends to Lovers romance. This is Drew and Courtney's book, first book. Um, I gave it 4 to 4.5. Um, I really enjoyed reading how Courtney and Drew got together and stuff because you do meet them in um, Checkmate This Is War and Checkmate This Is Love um, and I really did enjoy it um, and yeah. And then I read Checkmate This Is Effortless which is the second book in the duology. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. Again, really enjoyed it. It's the second book in the Drew and Courtney um, series and duology, and I really like their writing, um, Kennedy Fox's writing style. So, yeah. And then I read Tingled in Love by Tony Aleo, which is book 5.5. Uh, um, in the Assassin series, it's the little prequel um, to Laces and Lace. Um, it was a reread for me. Um, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, and it follows Lacey and Carson. Um, and then I finished Laces and Lace, which is book 6 in the Assassin series. Um, that is also Carson and Lacey's ser uh, book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Um, this book deals, um, Lacey, um, has lost her mom to breast cancer, and then she has breast cancer, um, or she had breast cancer, um, and this is also a second chance romance, um, that happens. They meet in the prequel, um, Laces and Lace, and then something happens, and then it's nine years later, um. So, yes. And then the last book I read is This Time Around by Tanya Fernsky. Sorry. Um, I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is the first book by her that I have read. But this was um, in my Romance Reveal book box. I think it was the June June box, um, and it was also part of uh, Kindle Unlimited. You could get the Kindle and the audio version. Um, so I did that, and I listened to this yesterday. Um, and um, I, as I said, I gave it three point five out of five. Um, and I will be picking up more of her books because I like the writing style. This follows um, Ali. And Jack, and this is also a second chance romance. I must be in a second chance romance um, mood. Um, and this follows Allie, who her life is not going the way she wants to go. Um, she just inherited her grandma's bed and breakfast because her grandma died. And in the bed and breakfast, she found find some stuff um, that she tries to figure out where it came from. And her parents are also in jail for a Ponzi scheme. And then Jack comes back um, and tries to reconnect with her. And he also has a 10-year-old daughter. Um, and yeah, um, 3.5 out of 5 stars. And the book I'm currently reading is Kiss My Boots by Harper Sloan. This is book two in the Coming Home series. Um, I'm like a hundred pages in. A little over or a little under. No, a little over. I'm on page 119. Um, and this is also a second chance romance. So that's why I said I must be in the <laughs> second chance romance um, thing. But I love the cover. And yeah, those are all seven of the books I read this week. Um, as I said, 
Um, I have read eight books total in the month of um, August, but the first one was in my last wrap up, and then these are these. Um, I'm filming this on Saturday, so if by some chance I finish guess my boots um, either today or tomorrow, it will be in my next week's wrap up. But um, if you want to see a full review on any of these, just let me know. And how did you guys do this week? What have you read? Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.